Hello everybody. I started to work on the core part of the game and that is the salvaging. So I've still got the same basic setup here where you can build your base and it puts down these blueprints so that you know that it's getting built but it's not built yet. But I also needed to make it so that you could salvage things from crashed ships. And the only crashed ship component on this map at the moment is this starship floor that happens to be sitting in the middle of nowhere. In order to salvage things, you have to be able to click on them, and that really wasn't an option before because I hadn't built the click menu. I have now. So this is the click context menu, and it takes advice from any mod that cares to try and donate some. So these two game objects are donated by two different mods, and this deconstruct one has a fair amount of detail to it. It tells you we're going to get 15 kilograms of metal, and it's going to take a certain amount of work and a certain amount of energy. 16 hours of work at that. Let's go ahead and click. And you can see that it put up a red cage to show us that it's got a task for it, but it's not done yet. If we look at our work overview, we take 16 hours of work. We've only got 16 hours of work. So if both of our people work together, they'll finish that. But what happens if one of them is slacking? The other one will do things that don't take up 16 hours. But this does have priority, so if we bring him back on board... Oh, it doesn't have priority today. What's going on here? Hmm. Well, oh, I'm not sure exactly what was going on there, but it decided it probably wanted to finish something first. Anyhow, you can see that I've now got a button menu. Now, you may think, oh, ooh, a button menu. Let me go ahead and show you uh, all that was required to make deconstructing things possible. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how simple this mod is. So obviously it's got a mod definition, and the mod definition has a context button. And this is the context button that gets added to that context menu when you click something. Here in scripts, it's got two scripts. Uh, it's got one that is an in-world task, that's the red box that pops up, and it's got one that is the context button, which they're both very short. This one just prints out what the requirements are, and this one just sets up the task so that it costs the right amount and it pays out in the end. And you can see that these code, this code is quite short. It's not very complicated at all. And that's because the in-world task objects and all that stuff, all those scripts are already written and they do all the hard work behind the scenes. So it's fairly straightforward for you to build something straightforward and simple like this. And of course in prefabs we've got the deconstruction button and the event. Notice that the deconstruction button, I don't have to um, do anything complicated to get that pop-up, all I have to do is use these event trigger scripts. And they will use, they will create that pop-up. And the on-click, similarly, it accesses a spawn task uh, that's built into the context button uh, system. So it doesn't take very much effort. Actually building the deconstruction mod only took me about uh, half an hour maybe in total. Uh, but of course setting up that click menu is a little bit more arduous. <laughs> now it's very easy for me to duplicate this deconstruction mod, which is a control D like so. Rename it something. It's still got all of the buttons and stuff attached to it, so we'll just hit play and see what happens. Oh look, two buttons. So you can see that those buttons uh, quickly can quickly add up, and if a mod needs to add in a context menu, it can. One of the great things about these context menu buttons is that they have a lot of options available to them. Show on empty space, show on facility objects, show on facility mobs, and those can all be overwritten and tweaked in any way you'd care to do. But um, it's all very straightforward and I'm really looking forward to this uh, working out. Right now my weak point is environmental um, modeling. I'm not very good at making environmental models. <sighs> Usually I buy them from the shop, but I want to be able to give you uh, this project. I want to be able to make this project CC0, and for that I obviously can't buy something from the shop. So I'll have to struggle through with my shitty 3D modeling skills.